Think you're better than me? You ain't got it. You ain't got it like this. You ain't got it like this. <laughs> What's up everybody, it's Tilo and today we're going to be making the Brown Bomber. I recently came into a bunch of habaneros so I figured it would be a perfect time to put together a Caribbean style sauce. I wanted something that I could marinate chicken in but I could also use for general purpose. Caribbean sauces vary greatly and they use a lot of different ingredients so I tried to pick some of the more common. There's a lot of different ingredients in this, but don't be afraid, they're all easy to find and it's worth it. So now I give to you the Brown Bomber. Okay, get ready. First, you're gonna need four cups of apple cider vinegar, one cup of white wine vinegar, one cup of champagne vinegar, five tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of white sugar, six tablespoons of salt, four tablespoons of yellow or Dijon mustard, one tablespoon of honey, one tablespoon of cumin, one and a half tablespoons of cinnamon, some black pepper, two cups of mangoes, two ginger roots, two and a half cups of peppers, one and a half red onion, and 12 cloves of garlic. I used a mix of habaneros and ahi limos, but if you have enough habaneros, or even better, scotch bonnets, go ahead and use those. If not, as always, use whatever you have. You're also gonna need a blender, a large saucepan, gloves, and the blessed blade of the wind seeker. Start by de-seeding and chopping your peppers. Be sure to keep the membranes on if at all possible. As you all know, this is my favorite part. Good luck, friends. See you on the other side. Now peel and chop your ginger root. Then peel and quarter your onion. And peel your garlic cloves. Once that's out of the way, wrangle up your ingredients and transport them over to the blender. You're definitely gonna need to blend this one in two parts. Start by adding your vinegars. Then add your salt. Then your brown sugar and your white sugar. Your honey, the mustard, the cumin, and finally, the cinnamon. Okay, we're almost there, keep it together. Now add your garlic, the onions, the mangoes, and the peppers. Pulse it, then blend it well. Remember, I blended it in two parts, but I'll spare you the bonus footage. Once you have it blended up well, bring it on over to the stove, pour it into your large saucepan, cover it, and bring it to a boil. Once it's boiling, uncover it, reduce the heat, and let it simmer. This is a big batch, so it's probably gonna take at least a few hours or more. So you should take this time to learn a new instrument so you can make all your own music so you don't ever have to worry about copyrights again. That's probably gonna take more time than we have right now. But that's okay, we can go back to that later. Once it's reduced by about 50%, take it back over to the blender and re-blend it. Okay, this is a very important step and it will bring honor to your bloodline. I've forgotten to do this myself before, so that's why I'm adding it. Once you've blended it up, take your black pepper, grind it in there, and then stir the black pepper in. Don't blend it in, because it'll pulp it into nothing. Now that you completed the final step, pour it into your bottles and boil up some water. Now cap your bottles, put shrink caps on them, and seal them up. Okay, we did it. Now get your war face on and try it. Tastes like a Jamaican sunrise. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you had a good time and you should definitely try this out. It's a great chicken marinade and it works on just about anything. Catch you next time.